Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new episode of Yankees Mania. I am your host, Gavin Primavera. So, um, again, I haven't really posted as frequently the last week or two, and one of the reasons for this is because of just the lockout. It really hasn't been much to talk about. It's always lockout, lockout, lockout. And so I'm here to provide you guys with a bit of an update. So, just so in case anyone doesn't know, the league has until February 28th. Today it is February the 24th. So they have until the 28th to make a deal or an agreement, or the season will be delayed. Or, or games will be canceled. That is a certainty that will not be made up. So the league has four days at this point to get it done. So now the league is meeting every single day in Tampa. Again, you have people of the Players Association, just um, a lot of guys. You have Tony Clark, who's the head of it, representing the Players Association. You have a lot of players, a lot of Yankees. Um, Jamison Tyone is representing the is the Players Association. Garrett Cole, um, Francisco Lindor, uh, Lance McCullers was there. And basically, Jeff Passan reported today, um, this is just the last update, that a lot of incremental progress has been made, but just on the major issues, the CBT just not getting done, not getting to the place where it needs to get done to, getting to the place where it needs to get to in order to make significant progress. At the very least, not enough in the next four days. So it's not looking good in terms of starting the season on time, which is really just devastating. Um, hopefully I'm wrong, but um, and they are meeting every day now, which is definitely a positive. So hopefully that... They'll figure something out. But that's really all I can say about that for now. We just got to hope that it gets done because all we really want is baseball. So hopefully we get an agreement in the next few days. But for now, we're going to talk about some other baseball news that's come out recently. Um, so a report came out the other day that Freddie Freeman is – the growing consensus around the league is that a lot of people think that Freddie Freeman will leave the Atlanta Braves. So that is very interesting news. Um, and this is the case, this is true, which personally, I'm leaning towards it not being true. I just can't see a guy like Freddie Freeman leaving Atlanta, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm t- completely wrong. But I will say this, if he does leave Atlanta, the Yankees better be on him. Because it makes just t- it makes too much sense for it not to happen. He should get a blank check. He should get a blank check. So, if they can get a guy like Freddie Freeman, that would be awesome. But that's a p- obviously huge news if Freddie Freeman's actually gone from Atlanta. Um, again, the Yankees do have other first base options. They have Voight, who I don't really know what they're going to do with him. Maybe look to trade him, even though his value is kind of low right now, which is not ideal for a player like Luke, who I, I, th- I still think is a very good player who just had a really rough year with injuries. Um, but again, hope, obviously a guy like Freeman is a major upgrade. Um, and you're not going to have to give up like chips such as um, that you might need to get that you might need to give up if you want to acquire a guy like Matt Olson from the Athletics. So that's something to think about. It really does come down to money. But again, this is all going to be moot if there is no agreement in the next four days. So, um, But again, another story that came out which I thought was very interesting over the last week was the R2C2 podcast, which is hosted by Ryan Rucco and CC Sabathia. I gave it a listen. Um they had Aaron Judge on over the past week or so. It was like an hour and 45 minutes, and it was a very interesting interview. I mean, it was um, – they had Aaron Judge on, and they asked uh, – some of the main storylines and headlines that came out that I thought were really interesting was that Judge basically – he wants to stay with the Yankees. He's made that clear, and he says that he wants an extension done before the year. I'm sorry, before the season, the season starts, which is obviously right around the corner. So it needs to get done pretty quickly. Um, but, again, it's it, it's such a difficult thing because the guy is getting older. I mean, how much are you going to pay him? Because you're going to have to pay these other guys in a few years who come up for free agency. You're going to sign a guy like Torres. You're going to sign a Sanchez. I mean, it's something you have to think about. It really is. Because I mean, you have Cole. You have, I mean, now at this point, you're talking about if you do extend Judge, you're going to have a lot of money. With all, you have Cole's contract, Stanton's contract, Judge's contract. I mean, at some point, I mean, there's going to come a point where you're not going to have enough, enough money to get a lot of the younger guys. So I, I honestly, listen, I personally think they do extend him before the season starts. But if they don't, I personally do think Judge will walk. No matter what happens, I do think Judge will walk after this year. 
maybe barring a World Series championship and fans would revolt if he doesn't come back. But uh, I think there's a good chance he will walk if he's not extended. And I love Judge. Uh, I would be outraged. But it's a really tough decision. I really think he walks if they don't extend him before the year. So, personally, I do think he's extended, though, for the record. I still think he's a great player, one of the best players in baseball, when healthy, which is key. And he totally proved last year that he can stay healthy. Um, the guy's a star. I don't really know how else to put it. He's my favorite player on the Yankees. He's the best Yankee. I don't even think it's remotely close, and he's the guy to go. And I will say this, though. One of the reasons why I think the Yankees might have been holding off on naming Judge captain is because of the— I mean, not going to name a guy captain and he's a free agent next year. It just makes, it makes, just makes no sense. So I think that's another thing that you can think about. So I will say this, though. If Judge is extended, I think you will see him name the captain of the Yankees. You will definitely see him named the captain of the Yankees. It just makes too much sense. The guy is obviously the leader of this team, and I think you'll see that should an extension happen. Which, again, I would say you're going to see him get in the ballpark around seven years, 30-plus million a year annual. So, again, doable, but do the Yankees want to do that? I mean, something that they're going to have to discuss internally. Um, Now... Uh, one thing I, would, I actually just saw on social media was John Carl Stan was working out. He looks like he's slimmed up, like, significantly. I mean, I'm just guessing he's probably lost, like, 10, 15 pounds. I mean, the guy looks slim, a lean. I mean, some people I actually talk to don't necessarily like this because they think that, oh, he's losing muscle. But I, I don't know. I think as he's getting older, it's probably a good thing that he's slimming up more, especially a guy like Stan who's injury-prone. To me personally, I thought he looked great. So, again, all going to be for naught if there's no season. But that's just something that I hope um, can be resolved. But so Stanton looks great. Again, if he's healthy again, this is what I'm saying with Stanton. If he's healthy, you could see him hitting in the ballpark at 50 home runs next year. Him and Judge, which is why health with these guys is really just key. That's really all it is, staying healthy because we know they have the talent. Um, now, again... As we said before with Freeman, if they sign Freeman, chances are they're not going to sign a Correa, which is why I think they actually might sign a Freddie Freeman because they'll, they'll get a stopgap at shortstop for a year and they'll go to vote be at short next year or the year um, 2023. But, again, it doesn't have to be a scrub. They can get a guy from Texas, Kinner Falifa, who was at like 300 last year, 20 home runs. Again, very good player, and then you can move them around. The Yankees have options at shortstop, especially – I just don't know if they go the Cray route, considering he's also just so hated. People just don't like him, and I'm not a fan of his either. I, I, I can't stand the guy. I love him. The Yankees sign Correa, I'll be thrilled. But they have they have options. But again, until the lockout ends, it is going to be... You can just keep talking about these points, but I just want to talk about it in real time. That's all I want to happen. So I hope we can get this done. And until then... All you can do is hope. So I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully we get a deal this week.